Uh, I'm Whippet, 35 years old, and I've got a couple of jobs. I own a couple of gyms, one in Waverley, one in Maroubra, and then I also work as a Waverley lifeguard um, down at Bondi, Bronny and Tamarama Beach. Day to day for me usually starts at the gyms, um, taking personal training clients or running group classes, uh, and then you know do a bit of work down in the lifeguards as well. So yeah, work pretty much sort of six days a week, and um, I've got two little kids at home and a wife, so try and spend a bit of time with those guys and you know, try and make it as fun as possible. Um, motivation for getting involved with Stars of the East is just to try and do my bit, raise a bit of money for cancer um, research. You know, that's just, everyone's been affected by cancer in some way or another. And um, yeah, the more money that's raised and awareness that's out there, the, you know, the more chance there is of finding some cures. So, you know, that's the goal. My dance partner is Eloise and we got Bollywood. So she's had a pretty rough time trying to, uh, trying to teach me something I had no idea about um, from the start. But yeah, we're getting there. We're having a bit of fun along the way and yeah, she's been very patient. Uh, yeah, for me, like this is something very out of my comfort zone. Um, dancing is not something I do regularly and certainly not sober in the middle of the day with one other person in a room. So yeah, it's been challenging and, um, and a lot of fun though. Like it, it, after the first week and you kind of get your head around it, then it's all right. I think the competition's going to be really tough. Um, I've seen Chris dance a bit and, uh, and his dance is really good, a lot of fun. So I'm sure he's going to be one of the, you know, one of the front runners. And I haven't actually seen anyone else's dancing apart from a few videos of Reedy's. They were pretty terrible, um, but hopefully it comes a long way before the night. It's Reedy and I are pretty competitive, so this is no different to anything in the water, any other event that we've ever done. So it's definitely, uh, you know, I definitely want to win, and you know, I don't want to see him do anything wrong, but I'd just like to see him not go as well as me. Uh, you're about to see me do my best version of Bollywood. I don't know how it'll go, so just be kind and cheer loudly, please.
whip it. You nailed that, brother. The pressure was on, and you nailed it. There was a lot of talk up before it, uh, so it did, uh, did go well. Thank you so much, Eloise, for all the effort. It wasn't easy to, teaching someone with two left feet to do that, so it's tiring, too. You've taught him well. He goes good. He goes really, really well. Well done. Yeah. Have you got ready covered? I hope so. I don't know. We'll find out soon. Yes. Come right. here, whip it. And Eloise. Oh, fantastic performance this evening. Um, how are you feeling? Did you have any curries to prepare? Lucky I didn't. They'd be coming out the other end right now. It's, it's hard work out there. <laughs> and you did have a bit of a malfunction during rehearsal. Your foot got caught in your poo catches. And what happened there? <laughs> Well, my foot, yeah, my foot got caught in my poo catches, which are empty, which is good, and uh, I pulled my pants off. So it, I had a quick, um, uh, you know, wardrobe change and tie them up, and we're all good. And we're all good. I mean, if your pants had come down, you may have got more points from Sally. I don't know. Um, but great, great performance, amazing energy. Um, look, I just have to say, Reedy told me that um, he beat you in the Iron Man Challenge a couple of years ago. Uh, you then beat him in the Molokai race a couple of months ago. Is this the decider? At the moment, this is the decider. Whoever wins this, uh, this will be 2-1, whoever wins. So right. be nice judges. Come on, I need this one. All right, so there is some fierce competitive stuff happening tonight. Very much so, every day. All right, every day and tonight more than ever. Okay, let's, let's just go to the judges and get this over with. Let's get those scores. Scott Bennett. A9. Woo! Anthony Minicello. Another nine for me. Oh. Chris Bamford. A nine. Yes. Sally Betts. A nine. Oh. Wow. You have done so well. Yes, uh, very grateful to Eloise for putting up with my uh, terrible start that we had at the, at the beginning. But we got there in the end and thanks to the judges. Thanks for everyone for coming tonight. It's uh, awesome to see so much support in the room and, and obviously raising money for a good cause. So dig deep. When the auctions come on, uh, spend as much as you can. It's going to a great cause. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You dance well.